and welcome back to Shovelware Nights. My name is Patrick. I am joined, as always, by Chris and Andrew. Hello, I am Chris. And I'm Andrew. Yep, as usual. Uh, last time Andrew played Oh Snap! Very good. <laughs> the the luminous, luminous clone uh, of the gods. Uh, I'm going to be playing another puzzle game from the looks of it. Let's try some opposites. Mm. This looks like it might be interesting. Now, didn't you guys once play a light-based puzzle game on like Wheel of Steam or something? Uh, yeah, Perfect Angle, I believe Perfect was the angle. name of it. That was really that was fun. fun one. I hope this is as fun as, again, as that one. Yeah, because so. I mean, there's what looks like it might be a light-based puzzling system or maybe yeah. just like a, a mirroring-based. Maybe it's got system. some some uh, hints of similarity in there, but we'll, we'll check it out. By Danobot Games. All right. Purchase full version. Loading. Loading. All right, you're Abe Clancy, and the opponent is called Al. All right, well, oh, there is, there is actually a, a oh, person there. Oh, what? Oh, that's fun. So you're kind of fighting for space. Yeah, and every time you get a line. Oh, no, you don't, you don't even get lines, maybe? I don't know, like... Oh, this is a... Oh, you oh, suck. Is, it, it, it's, it's the buttons, this okay. This is fun it was perfectly one. made for you. I like no, no, this. Because here's the thing, here's the thing. X... Oh, you know what it... Oh, no, it's not... You know, it, it's weird because of the uh, the controls here. So, X makes the brick fall all the way to the bottom immediately. Mm-hmm. But, uh... But the problem is... Uh, B doesn't make it go to the right because if you, if you think of it as Tetris, Tetris on the side, right, pressing right. up makes it go all the way to the bottom, but that's not actually happening here. So it's it's really, really awkward with the controls here, with the X being the one that makes it go all the way down. That's not something that I, I normally would think of as a button that does that sort of thing. But in, in a way, isn't this like opposite Tetris? Like, aren't you trying to build like... Are you trying to push him off the screen? Is that the idea? I mean, I think the idea is... Yeah. I mean, there are scores here. It might just be a score-based game. Okay. Because your opponent has made two lines and has a score of 804. Patrick has made one line and has a score of 586. Uh, Patrick, you suck. <laughs> it, hey, I'm still trying to figure out what the hell this game is about. So, at this point, we're both kind of like screwing ourselves up. Yeah. No one's getting lines. Ah, here we go. But now that I'm getting lines, I can make my way back to him. He made a face and he fed the face, and now the face <laughs> is still there. <laughs> oh, it's gone now. That face got obliterated, and he is kicking your ass. Well, one thing that I, I am curious about is how... This is brutal. How do you, uh... uh how do you, like, properly... Uh, I, I actually can't talk and play this at the same time. <laughs> how do you properly beat the other player? Because... As I'm, I'm getting lines. Is his side getting, getting like further? Well, up no, or something? because uh, a buffer, a no man's land has been formed here, kind of a, a DMZ. <laughs> and because right. of that, you're not impacting his side of the board anymore. However, he is still kicking your ass. He's been making line after line. Here comes two more. Yeah, but the, the problem that I, I'm trying to figure out here is that how do I? get his side to get higher do i have to like get to his side and then we fight I, again? I think you need to get back over to his side so we have we have to get back together and then we'll fight i think so there you go now At you have a nice least little I'd, opening i'd like that to happen it seems entertaining oh you're effed you're effed buddy oh oh look at oh, that man. now you're making lines really getting them and you're almost uh, to the dmz and I guess because, oh, I'm, there we because go. I'm the other color, the more stuff I can throw on his side, the worse off his life is going to be. Oh, man. Okay. So I'm going to hand this off to Chris. This is a fun game. That's very interesting. So it, it does not really matter if you have a perfectly flat bottom on your side, just as long as you're ahead, you know? Because you're you know, on an opposite color from the, the other person, and every time they make a line, it kind of pushes it back to your side, yeah. Uh -huh. This is a very, very weird way of doing Tetris. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like it, though. Yeah, it's nice. See, this is what the show's all about. This is this kind of weird game mechanic that's been put into a game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, we, we finally found one. I thought it was just about shovelware games that are terrible, but... I mean, it could be. <laughs> every once in a while, it's nice to find a game that's interesting. Yeah. I don't know if this necessarily works well enough. They could be like, yeah, that's a good game. 
It's it's a little wonky when two people are, are putting something down at the same moment, I think. Yeah, I think this mm. may have been better served as a turn-based experience. I could see that working. So so you, you both get one turn to, uh, to put a block down. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, not the best. Oh, boy. Luckily, he made a hole for you, though. Yeah. You gotta... You, I, I believe Chris. Come on, you can do it. Maybe not. Uh, this is not looking good. It's nice sometimes when the, the other player puts a piece down, it opens up a space for you. Yeah. Because a couple of times I've noticed that uh, you've almost been screwed, but then it's actually worked out in your favor. Yep, yep. You made a hole. Oh, no. You stupid man. Yeah, I had to make a desperate play there. <laughs> <laughs> he was gonna put the square there, and you're like, nope. Fuck that. Fuck that. <laughs> you play a lot of uh, Tetris, Andrew? Um, in, in, my, in my younger days, I well, played Tetris. I, I, I played a lot of Dr. Mario. Well, you're gonna play it. That looks like a like a <laughs> creeper there. That's true. Here you go. Your turn. I, I'm I'm liking this. This is a very right. interesting mechanic. So B... This, this kind of feels like... What? No. Which one? Shovel War game. Uh, so, B and A rotate. Okay. Yeah, which one, which one turn slams it down? X. Would make for a better Okay. Experience. Well, I hit that at the wrong that... time. Yeah, yeah. A turn-based uh, form might be a little bit better to help kind of offset the wonkiness of you both trying to put a piece down at the same moment and whoever gets their first wins. Yeah. But maybe, maybe that's kind of... The other thing that's somewhat confusing is you're trying to make a, a, a line of all white, mm -hmm. and obviously there's a whole bunch of that on the screen already. But right. It has to be the ones you made, and that can become a little bit confusing. Yeah, that is true, because like you might put a piece down right after he puts a piece down, and then it doesn't mm -hmm. count as a line or something. It's, it's, uh, it's an okay system, though. It works better than I would have expected. Yeah. Th this kind of feels like a, a really nice game, because it's it feels like this is uh, an alpha of something. Like, here, here's the game mechanics. Let's play around with it yeah. and see how it works. Mm. It feels like a proof of concept. Yeah. Because there's no music happening whatsoever. AI seems pretty rudimentary. And uh, I, I think I would prefer it if this was vertical. Because... Like one person coming up, another person coming down? Right. And if, if you're doing a, like, two people playing at once, you could just have it split screen and, and it being a mirror off of one, one another. But people uh, are used to, to blocks falling down, you know? And yeah. this is a cool mechanic on its own, but when you introduce it going sideways at the same time, it messes with people's brains a yeah. little too okay. much. Okay, a mechanic just happened that we did not see before. Whatever. So, a combo right. happens. The opponent formed a combo. I don't know what instigated the combo but when the combo happened he gained a full lines worth of board like andrew lost that see where combo times one and his side of the board got bigger and you have combo times one and it took back that time times uh -huh. two what are you doing this combo oh you have to you have to get multiple uh lines in, a, in an immediate moment uh. so every piece gives you a combo so if i if i drop a piece and get a line that's a combo i get drop another piece and get one line that's a two combo every time that and, happens and it might be, you it might gained be, board yeah and it might be when you get like a 4x or something that's a combo i don't know all i know is uh that's how you gain board we didn't see that the first uh, yeah like first if you time. if you drop drop like a line piece and you get a tetris maybe that counts line as a 4x combo piece. Line piece. the interesting thing to me is when you make a line and it moves the board sometimes when you make a line it doesn't seem like it moves the board yeah it has to be a combo so i think it has to be your second line actually i th i think it might just be if like you guys are fighting for the same area of the board there's some like calculation that the game does to determine to move it because early on in the game there's a lot of fighting for control and every line seems to move the board over a little bit when but i say move i mean like literally everything shifted not that you gained board because you made a full white. Everything shifted. Yeah, I, like it, I, I noticed that too. It feels like it's it's only happening in the beginning, though. It feels like that doesn't happen later. Oh, it happened uh, when every time a combo happened, it happened. Like that's why I'm associating with combos. Hmm. Weird. But in any case, that's opposites. That was interesting. That was that was yeah, pretty yeah. good. Yeah, I like that. I like that, that was one. like an interesting experience to uh, 
to see that work. I, I think that that could work as a really nice Tetris game, but I think it, I think it needs to be vertical. Um, you know, because uh, if it's horizontal, you're kind of introducing two things at once that kind of messes with the player's perception about how these games are played, that it's going horizontal instead of vertical, and that your opponent's pieces are the empty spaces for your board, which is interesting. I think you might lose that if you make it vertical, though. Well, no, it'll, it'll still be happening. Like, the pieces will still be going up and, and becoming your bottom, but then it's easier for the player to perce perceive that that is making the bottom of their board, you yeah. know? Because the fact that it's horizontal, there's some disconnect there. That this is a yeah. new puzzle game. This is not Tetris. But what you want is you want it to be Tetris, but with that added one added like quirk thrown in. And I feel like you kind of miss out on that when it's horizontal. It takes too long for the player to think to themselves, "Hey, this is Tetris. The other player's pieces are my board." You know? Yeah, yeah. Because we think were, you we could just solve that with like when you start a new game, having like that little tutorial intro explaining what's different about this. Or we're just dumped right in. Maybe, uh, maybe just in the options, you could choose how the screen is oriented. Also possible. I mean, that'd be great because then I just do vertical. Well, my two cents is vertical. So yeah, <laughs> that was opposites. Uh, <laughs> yes, it was. Thanks, thank you, Danobot Games or yeah. whatever it was. That was pretty fun. Yeah, that was a good one. You made something interesting. You want to give it a shot, Chris? Well, I tr I played it. Oh right. Yeah, we all. We oh, I remember good. right. You sucked. Oh okay. <laughs> I was better than you. No, no you weren't. I won. <laughs> you didn't. Your opponent had twice as much of a score as you. That's that's what you're going by, score? Yeah. Not by who wins? I'm going by the score that determines who the winner is. Well, regardless, I had the high score. So anyways, thank you very much for watching Shuffle War Nights for today. Uh, we'll see you next time. Goodbye. See you later. Bye. Patrick lost. I did not. <laughs>